Damn, they've got a lot of numbers. Crikey. They must have that um remember me sign in thing, mustn't they? Oof. Crikey. Is that a real account? My gosh. Thanks in. Interesting situation. Always for the people. taking it then oh my heart went a little bit i thought oh let's just take it off the board don't have any place in the center of the board only if it's to your benefit that rule applies to the Queen as well in terms of exchanging the Queens only if it's to your benefit or not exchanging only if it's to your benefit Bush. just doing a lot of work with this Queen I don't want to get set up so Bishop's protecting this pawn He's escaping round the back.
weakest link. I have to babysit this damn pawn here. He takes, he takes his own in the file. I have to babysit this pawn. If I don't, then he comes here. You know, I go here. Shobby, maybe go with this one. And he drops down. It's almost too locked down, isn't it? Are we going to have to take that chance? Bishop takes, gets rid of a pawn, but it's pawn munching. Yeah, so this is us looking at greedy munching a pawn. Does it really improve our position? I don't think it does. So we take, he's owning the file. Our rooks aren't getting in there unless we get the king across. But by that time, he's doubled up. I don't think that's the way to go. Could just bring the bishop here and defend. Make it act like a pawn. That is not the best use of the bishop though. So we're going to bring the rook here. I don't think greedy munching is the way to go. We've shown that time and time again in the games that we've... The opponents have grabbed. Even knights, you know, just greedy munching pieces. Without looking fully at, is it safe to do so? He's putting the two on one now. Shouldn't have done that. Oh yeah, okay. It's okay. I've got the rook defending. Because if I take with the pawn, then he's just going to get a back ranker on me. I'm moving too fast now. Thing is if they don't take now we can actually take the pawn so he does take so take back with the rook I'm just gonna say he does have these but he move quick like I move quick so I can take this pawn it's got no support on this pawn doesn't have any support on so he'll be looking for a back ranker staying on so then we they went there did think they were gonna double up which is fine I'm gonna take this pawn if he takes, then we take, his rook takes, he's looking for a back ranker, we can bring the rook across. Let's do that. Let's take, let's bring the king across. Obviously he's going to get some pawns back. But we do have capturing of this here, so he's probably not getting this one. And we can start maybe jostling this pawn up and this pawn up or something like that. So we seem to get here a little bit quick. It is a 20 minutes and 5 second increment game. I think they're, th they're probably going to um, resign now I think. Although they could go here like this but then our king is close enough to causing damage. If he's coming round the back, we still take the pawn here. Yeah, so we still take the pawn and we're guarding the pawn here. So then he's probably looking to attack this pawn. So then we can protect and then probably coming backwards and forwards. But I think he'll have to go up first to put a check on our king so that then at least he's attacking this pawn. Then we move up and then he comes across and then attacks that pawn. He's not doing it that way. Just push and push, and so he's going for checks. I suppose we could let him have those pawns because if he does, we get a check on his king with a promotion. Does not want to wear any of them apples, so I'm going to bring the rook just a little bit closer here so we can get a check on, get a queen. Uh, he's more, well, we'll still get the promotion because we got the rook check on the king which is even better for us and then we just slide down here put a check on the king here hides in the corner and then that's probably checkmate 